This is WENY News. Thanks for clicking on the webcast. I'm Leanne DeRosa. Here's the latest from WENY News and the Star Gazette. What started as a garage fire in Elmira Heights turned out to be a meth lab discovery. Saturday afternoon, the Elmira Heights Fire Department responded to 201 Harrison Street for a fire in a double bay garage. But when investigators were called to determine the cause, they realized they came across a meth lab. That led police to arrest Robin Walburn, the man who rents the property. He was charged with unlawful manufacture of meth and more charges are possible. Taxpayers start checking your mailboxes soon. The State Department of Taxation and Finance says millions of tax rebate checks will be mailed out starting November 24th. That's according to our media partner, the Star Gazette, and Press Connects. The rebate checks are part of Governor Cuomo's three-year property tax freeze program that started last year. Households could receive checks for an average of about $350, but it could take a few months for the nearly 2 million checks to be delivered. If you've eaten at a McDonald's in Waterloo, New York recently, you could be at risk of contracting hepatitis A. The Seneca County Health Department confirmed a case of the virus in a food service worker at the McDonald's outlet at 2500 Mound Road in Waterloo. Health officials stress there's a low risk of contracting the virus, but if you ate at the restaurant on October 31st, November 2nd, 3rd, 5th, 6th or 8th and haven't been previously vaccinated, you may want to consider getting treatment. Clinics will be held on November 14th and 15th in Seneca Falls, New York. A group of local Boy Scouts are turning an Amira landmark into a bigger lesson about the environment. It's part of a community service project by Eagle Scout candidate Brian Kazmark of Horseheads and Boy Scout Troop 3097. They're installing signs around the lake to help you learn more about plants, fish and animals in Eldridge Lake. The boys also teamed up with Shemung River Friends for help with the project. Now here's Craig Flint with today's forecast. Good morning, Craig. Hey there, Leanne. And good morning to you. Good morning, everyone. Stepping out uh, the door this morning, temperatures are in the 20s and 30s, but by afternoon, I think we got a pretty good looking day. Uh, there should be a good deal of sunshine out, a little bit of a northwesterly wind and highs 55 to 60. Now overnight tonight with clear skies and light winds, it's going to get cold again with a low in the mid 20s. So here's a look at first warning satellite Doppler radar for you and uh, what we're noticing this morning is a good deal of clear sky locally, but you see this area right here, this little ribbon of clouds extending northwest to south and east. That's actually a little bit of a backdoor cold front that's trying to work its way to the south and west. So I wouldn't be surprised if this ribbon of clouds may briefly get into the Finger Lakes uh, through late morning, midday, but not a lot of moisture with this front. So as it works its way to the south and east, it should start to break up. We look to the south and west, though, and that's where we have a more formidable storm. But what's going to happen with this storm is it's actually going to become strung out and it's going to take a little while for it to work its way to the east. It probably won't get here until Wednesday night. So until then, got the sunshine. And here we go on future track. A good deal of clear sky today. Temperatures 55 to 60 by the finish of today, overnight tonight. Mostly clear sky. Now temperatures will start in the 20s. Now I know you're seeing future track trying to paint something on here Tuesday. Likely not going to happen. Should be another day with sunshine. Temperatures in the mid 50s. And Wednesday looks like a pretty decent day as well. We'll add more cloud coverage to the sky Wednesday and eventually some rain coming in Wednesday night. And we'll increase the breeze on Wednesday too with a high of 55 to 60. Should be near 60 on Thursday, but there will be some wet weather moving through at times. I think Thursday is our highest likelihood for some uh, rain showers. And then it's much cooler by the time we finish. And by the finish of the week, no better upper than the upper 40s Friday, never better than the mid 40s over the weekend. And uh, I think fairly uneventful over the weekend. A weak weather system may produce a scattered rain, a wet snow shower on Sunday, uh, but certainly cooler as we head into the finish of the week. But you know what? For today, 55 to 60 could be much worse this time of the year. So Leanne, I'll take the forecast and run with it. Yeah, me too. Sounds good to me. Thanks, Craig. For the latest news, weather, and sports, be sure to watch WENY News at noon, 5, 36, and 11. And don't forget to pick up a copy of today's Star Gazette. I'm Leanne DeRosa. Have a great day, everyone.